So as you can see from the title, we can get into a little bit of trouble with this one. That's the way she goes. You gotta live life on the edge, right? All right, so a few months ago, I made a video talking about gaming on my MacBook, and it didn't stop there. I'm not much of a gamer, and this isn't a gaming channel, but that didn't stop there. I'll link that video here if you wanna watch it. But in that video, I mentioned emulation was a really fun part of gaming on the MacBook, and using it kind of like a retro gaming console was really fun. But on, along that path, the next stop for me was Nintendo Switch emulation. Now I know the legalities of it. There's a little gray area, right? A couple disclosures I need to give you so I don't get sued up the ass. The first of which is this is for entertainment purposes only. This is for scientific proof of concept. Secondly, I do own a Switch and I do own the games that I'm running on the emulator because you need to rip the game files and then put it on the emulator. So there's ways around that if you want to do it illegally using the internet, but that's what I did, okay? So I just needed to put that little disclaimer in there. All right, so why did I want to run a Switch emulator when I have a Switch, when I could easily buy a Switch if I wanted to, like if I really wanted to play the Nintendo games? And like I said, this is a proof of concept. This was me just tinkering around, having fun. If you want to play Nintendo titles, if you want to play Switch titles, the best experience is going to be with a Switch. I use the Ryu Jinx emulator. You could still find it. It's not. It's no longer maintained, I believe, because Nintendo got involved in that and um, shut it down. But it still works, and there's a lot of games that still do work properly. Not every game is going to work. The main game that I found myself playing was Super Mario Wonder, which runs wonderfully on the emulator. So it's almost like 100% compatible with everything. There's a few games that won't be that way. They'll crash when certain things happen or when you get to a certain point. So, you know, it's not a foolproof emulator. The really cool thing about the emulators is since the Nintendo Switch screen is not that good, I have the OG one, I don't have the OLED one, but the screen is not really that good. Colors are weird, uh, resolution is not that great. So with the emulator, you can play any of your favorite Nintendo titles right on a better screen like the MacBook. In my case, I'm using a MacBook. If you're using a PC, if you're using a, an external monitor, like, you know, everything's gonna be better than the Nintendo Switch screen. But when I was running it on the MacBook screen, the colors looked great, the resolution's great, you can upscale the emulator, and it looks a whole lot better than it would on the Nintendo Switch. So once I got the emulator set up, it's pretty easy. I paired a PS4 controller, everything just works. There's no button mapping that needs to be done. But Here's where it kind of, where the discussion starts of like, why would you want to run Nintendo games on your laptop or your PC? Firstly, just like I said, better resolution, better colors, but it really removes the experience of playing Switch games when you're not playing it on a Switch. If you really just want to play Nintendo titles uh, with the best resolution, the best colors, the best consistent frame rate, that's why you would want to play it on an emulator. The thing is, it removes the point of the Switch. It removes the experience, the full experience of playing Nintendo Switch games. So what I mean by that is when you have the Switch in your hand, when you're playing it, you have that specific layout, you have the screen in front of you, and it's meant to be a handheld. So when you run it on a laptop, you completely remove the handheld experience from playing the games. So you can't just play it on your bed or on your couch, like holding it like a tablet, right? Like handheld, like you're supposed to. It's a, another extra step in that you got your controller, your laptop or whatever, and you're sitting down intentionally playing that title instead of playing it when you're kind of chilling on your bed or something. So same thing with the Steam Deck. I would argue maybe you could run a, emulator, a Switch emulator on the Steam Deck and then kind of see how that works, how that runs. Obviously, you got to own a Switch still. You got to own the titles. But I'm just saying maybe that would be better performance, more consistent frame rate, uh, while still uh, enjoying the Switch experience of having a handheld. If you decide to run a Switch emulator, for me, it would really be that you just want the best performance and you want the best color, resolution, frame rate, that you could possibly get for a Nintendo title. I think that's the only reason you'd want to run an emulator, other than if you're doing it illegally and just like, you know what, f it, I don't want to buy a Switch, let me just run the emulator. I don't recommend doing that because that's against the law, all right? 
have some damn self-respect for yourself. So you can do that at your own risk, but the main reason you'd want to run Switch games on an emulator is just to get that consistent frame rate, the colors, upscaling. I feel like I sound like a broken record. I've said that a few times now, right? So that basically concludes the video. I want to share this with you guys. Every time I tinker around with something, I'm like, you know what, maybe this is a really worthwhile thing to share. I just thought this was a fun little experiment. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.